Hello there and welcome back once again to the Scott Goes Pop channel on YouTube. My name is James Kelly and it's the 23rd of January 2021 and we have reached the last hurrah with the Scott Goes Pop observation poll, the very last result. But arguably these are the most important results because this is, after all, Scottish Parliament election year and these are the Scottish Parliament voting intention numbers. I would have released these days ago but there was a small problem with the data sets and by the time I got the numbers back, there just always seemed to be something else to do. So I'm sorry for the delay, but I won't keep you in suspense any longer. I'm not going to... This is not a video preview. I'm actually going to read the results out to you right now. Yes, it's that exciting. But I will obviously post the numbers on the blog as well later on in case anybody is video phobic and wants to read this as well as hear it. So we'll start with the first vote, the constituency vote for the Scottish Parliament. And in first place, drum roll please, we have the SNP, of course we do, on 51% of the vote. That's down two percentage points since the last Servation poll in December. In joint second place, on 19% of the vote, is the Conservative Party. That's down one since December. And in the data sets, you can actually see that the Conservatives are just marginally in second place on the raw numbers, but once it's rounded to the nearest percentage point, they're only in joint second place with Labour, who are also on 19% of the vote, and that's also down one for Labour. In fourth place are the Liberal Democrats on 9% of the vote, and that's up three, believe it or not. So moving on to the all-important list vote. And in first place, once again, we have the SNP on 40% of the vote, and that's down one on December. Now, as always at this point, I have to stop and put in a health warning because Servation polls tend to show lower SNP list votes and higher Green list votes than other firms do, sometimes by quite a significant amount. And my personal view is that that's because of the question, the way the question is asked by Servation. I'll, I'll read it out to you. Your second vote will be a party list vote to elect representatives from your region of Scotland by a form of proportional representation. If the election were tomorrow, which party would you be most likely to vote for with your second regional list vote? So as you can hear, that's, the word second is used twice, I think it's reinforced. The, the question on the constituency vote also uses the word first vote twice. So I, I do think that gives the impression to some people that the list vote is a kind of second preference, and for that reason some SNP voters drift off to the Greens. But we'll see if that's correct. Now, obviously, if Servation are more are closer to the truth when the election happens in other firms and that my theory will be proved wrong, but we'll see. So that's the SNP to reiterate on 40% of the vote, that's down one. In second place, in clear second place this time on the list vote is Labour on 19% of the vote and that's down one. Even though Labour are in second place, they are down one. And that's significant because on the Westminster vote, Labour had a 23% share of the vote, which is higher than they've had for quite some time. So you could, you could have got the impression from the Westminster numbers that there was some sort of Labour breakthrough, but there's no sign of that in Hollywood. Labour are down on the constituency vote, they're down on the list. And they're in second place on the list, but that's by default because the Conservatives are doing so badly. The Conservatives are in third place on 17% of the vote, and that is down one. In fourth place are the Greens. On 11% of the vote, that's up one, but again, health warning on that for the reason I gave earlier. And in fifth place are the Liberal Democrats on 8% of the vote, that's up one. So the seats projection now, this is how many seats each party would win if the result was exactly as it is in this poll. And the SNP would win 69 seats, which is an overall majority. Anything 65 or above is an overall majority, so that's comfortably a single party majority for the SNP. That's, and 69 seats is up 6 on the 63 they won 5 years ago. In second place, the Labour Party, back to second place in Scottish politics. But they're on 23 seats, which is actually down 1 on the 24 they won 5 years ago when they were in third place. A catastrophic result for Douglas Ross and the Conservative Party. Just 19 seats, down 12 on the 31 won by Ruth Davidson five years ago. Uh, the Greens on, in fourth place on 11 seats. That's up five on five years ago, but I have my doubts about that. We'll see. And the Liberal Democrats on seven seats. That's 
up to on five years ago. That's a reasonably good result for the Liberal Democrats. Don't know why they're doing relatively well in this poll, whether it's just a chance finding. So, that's a, I think that's a fairly decent poll for the SNP. It's, um, they were down 3% on the, on the Westminster vote, but there's no sign of anything that bad here. They're down 2 on the constituency vote and down 1 in the list, so that could just be margin of error noise. I think the Conservatives have the most to be worried about. Uh, they seem to be hurtling towards third place if Servation are right and if some other firms are wrong. And obviously the Greens would be extremely happy if this was the final result, but um, I am sceptical about that, but time will tell. So I hope you've enjoyed the poll, I hope you found it interesting, and maybe we'll do it again sometime. But until then, see you later.